Kia team, Chris Fahi here. Today we're checking out Ponsonby Road in Ponsonby. So the reason I thought this would be an interesting neighbourhood to check out is it's probably one of the coolest neighbourhoods in New Zealand. And so I guess on paper you'd expect there to be a lot of property development with apartments and that sort of thing, particularly given it's pretty close to central Auckland. Um, so look, let's have a look. So the first thing you notice walking down Ponsonby Road is that in the context of an extremely central suburb with one of the hottest housing markets and a generally trendy neighbourhood, there is very little property development. It seems to largely boil down to three factors that characterise Ponsonby Road. Small shallow sites, fragmented ownership and town planning controls. Planning controls are always complex, but in a nutshell, although Ponsonby Road has the business town centre zoning running down its spine, it also has a 13 metre height variation control and a range of heritage and character overlays which make it difficult to pull together a viable development. The zoning in most places also quickly falls away to the residential single house zone, which is obviously a low intensity zone. The nearby area around Vinegar Lane gives you some insights into how the market might treat more flexible zonings, with mid-rise commercial and housing developments prevalent across that neighbourhood. That said, there is some development occurring with two cranes spotted while walking down the road. The first crane is for 56 Pollen Street. This is a five-storey development on a super small site, around 190 square metres at ground level. It'll be a mix of retail, office and food and beverage. The second crane is at the Ponsonby Central expansion near Richmond Road. This is a 3,500 square metre extension of Ponsonby Central, which will double its size. It will have a three-storey basement car park, one level of retail, one level of commercial offices, and a residential penthouse. Down near Three Lamps, there's also a large development in planning with the Urban Collective recently announcing the Pompelia. This is a five-level development that will deliver high-end apartments, premium retail, hospitality, civic and workspaces. There's also a bit of excitement about what the future might hold for 99 College Hill, a large vacant section at the top of College Hill that was recently for sale. So look, hope you enjoyed this quick update of the latest real estate action along Ponsonby Road. If one of your mates is involved in these projects, then please tag them in the comments, or if you just thought this video was cool, then go ahead, smash that like button. Cheers, bye.